ratios, the return on capital employed. General accounting is one of the management information systems, MIS, to manage the firm. At the end of each accounting cycle, it produces, we saw, three year-end documents, the income statement, the balance sheet, and we learned recently, the cash flow statement. We shall go one step further in the production of synthetic figures with the ratios. Ratios are used to assess the performance of the firm in three different contexts. First of all, within one cycle. Secondly, over time, within the figures of the firm. We shall see the evolution over time of the ratios of the firm. And thirdly, in comparison with competitors in the same economic sector, somehow time and space. There are four categories of ratios. Profitability ratios, liquidity ratios, efficiency ratios, and financial ratios, also called investment ratios. In this lesson, we study the main profitability ratio called the ROCE for return on capital employed. The idea of profitability ratios is simple. If I tell you last year firm F generated 60 million euros of profit, is it a good performance or not? Can we answer the, this question? No, we cannot answer without some yardstick to evaluate these 60 million euros. To assess the performance represented by a profit of 60 million euros, we need to know with what means. If it is with 1,000 million euros of money used one way or another, it is a poor performance. And if it is with 100 million euros of money used, and we shall make this formula more precise, well, in that case, it is brilliant. Here are the documents of one cycle, the beginning balance sheet, the income statement, and the ending balance sheet. And the money used is represented by the capital employed on the liability side. You remember, the capital employed is the part of the liabilities which require an effort to have, that is, which are remunerated with interest charges, these, or which are remunerated with dividends, the, those, the equity and the debt. And we have equity and debt at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. Whereas the uh, where, while the suppliers and other creditors are free credit here, we don't have to make any effort to get that. It comes from the operations of the firm. So we shall look at something which is of the form a profit generated on top of a ratio divided by the money employed. And there again, uh, I am, uh, first of all, vague. And let's now be more precise. First of all, since the net result of 60 million depends on the structure of the liabilities, of the uh, capital employed, uh, whether we have more equity and less debt, or more debt and less equity, will make will produce a different net result. And since we are interested in the profit generation capability of uh, the firm disregarding the structure of the capital employed, rather than looking at the net result, we shall look at the result after the operating charges, the operating result, also called result before interest and taxes. And since the capital employed is a figure that can change during the accounting cycle, 
We shall take the average capital employed. The capital employed at the beginning of the year is this, that is 370 plus 50, 420 plus 100, 520. So the capital employed at the beginning of the year were 520, and the capital employed at the end of the year are 300, 400, 450, 550. So we shall sum them up and divide by 2, that is, we shall average them. These are the capital employed, average capital employed, over this year. So the ROCE of the year, that is the return on capital employed of the year, is 90, the operating result, divided by 520 plus 550, divided by 2. And this yields 16.8%. And the general formula for the ROCE is result before interest and taxes, which probably is better to call simply enough operating result. Operating result divided by the average equity plus debt. And remember, when I talk about debt, we mean the costly debt. Finally, Let's look at two years. Uh, we, just, uh, we just looked at this year. Now let's look at two years. Uh, the ROCE of this year, which is 2011, is the return before interest and taxes, 70, divided by the average capital employed. That is this figure, average with that figure. That is 450 plus 520 divided by 2. This gives 14.4%, and the ROCE of 2012, we saw, is 90, divided by the average of this figure and that figure, and we got 16.8%. So this shows an evolution, a positive evolution, of the uh, profit generation of the firm, the, the profitability of the firm measured by the ROCE. And these numbers are very important because we shall compare them to the cost of obtaining this capital employed.